it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the books that I hope to read in the month of April. This is my April TBR, my April to be read, the books that I'm hoping to read this month. And yeah, I'm trying to keep it relaxed. And for readathons, I always do a readathon a month. So I'll put the dates here. But for they're going to have the Doobies 24 hour readathon this month. I'm so excited. It's one of my favorites. It was the first readathon I ever participated in. So I have some books for that that I'm hoping to get to. And yeah, we're going to keep it relaxed, fun, hopefully. <laughs> the first step, I just wanted to address this right off the bat the stand. I was supposed to finish this last month. <laughs> Honey, I read 15 pages. I hate myself for it, but it's fine. So I'm hoping to make more progress on this. I was supposed to do like a big group buddy read and like with Natasha from My Reading is Odd and there was timestamps and there was a bunch of people participating and I failed. <laughs> and I didn't want to force myself to read it. So here I am with 15 pages in. So yeah it's tabbed and ready to go so I can just read as much as I want to. Let's hope I do that. For the Dewey 24 hour readathon I have a few options or just for in general. I have the Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. This is basically just like definitions as you go through the alphabet I think. I don't know. Has to do with love. Seems fun. It's short. Also have My Friend Dahmer by Durf Backdurf. So this is just the gra a graphic novel version of D Jeffrey Dahmer's life. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. I think I'm going to be buddy reading this one with my friend Lena and I'll have her blog link down below. But I'm super excited to read this one and see what we both think of it. And I'm interested to see Jeffrey Dahmer's backstory because I don't know much about his past. So yeah. For the other books I'm hoping to read this month, first up I have The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F*** by Mark Manson. Um, this book is a self-help book. That's all I know. I've heard great things and I just thought you know what? Sure. Let's try it. The next one I have known nothing about, but that is The Roundhouse by Lewis Ardrich. I know nothing about this, literally nothing. All I know is there's a quote on the back that says, we passed over in a sweep of sorrow that would persist into our small forever. We just kept going. So whatever that's supposed to mean, I'm gonna read this. Hopefully I'll get to it. I don't know what it's about, but I don't really want to know. I'll find out. Next up here, I'm really hoping to get to Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. I just downloaded the audiobook of this one this morning, actually, so I'm hoping to listen to that. And unless the audiobook's like bad, then I'll just read it physically. But all I know about this one is that it deals with self-harm. So I'm hoping to get to this one and, and see how that topic is presented in this book. And I know it deals with a lot of other tough issues and mental health issues. So I'm just looking forward to seeing what this one is going to have to offer. And I hope I really like it because I've heard really good things about this one. And last but not least, this is probably going to be the first book that I complete this month, but that is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. I love this cover so much. With a passion, I love this cover. Like, I'm sorry, who? Who? This book is about a girl named Marin who basically packs up and just leaves her old life and she's like bye stuff happened so she packs up and leaves and goes to college i believe it is in new york city and she didn't even tell her friend mabel where she went they had a really close relationship and yeah i don't want to say too much so this book deals with like grief and love and loss and that sort of thing basically i am over halfway through i'll probably finish this today and i'll let you know my thoughts when i finish it but it's okay that's all I have to say. There you guys have it. Those are the books that I'm hoping to read in the month of April. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you are hoping to read this month and any goals that you have or whatever. And yeah, happy April. Bye. Here I find